other gets sick. <laughs> Usually he does not get sick. Uh, I'm the one who always is sick. But on March 6th, it was 42-year-old TV producer John Giratano who developed a low fever. He didn't get a cough until a week later, and things got worse at a Long Island hospital on Saturday, March 14th. He had called me Saturday um, in a panic, and he, I talked to him for like 15 seconds, and he could barely breathe, and he just said, um, tell them yes. Tell them, yes, I can't breathe. Giratano was put on a ventilator more than a week ago and finally approved for the experimental drug Remdesivir, which is produced by Gilead Sciences and was tested during the Ebola crisis in Africa. I'm pleased to announce that right now um, he, his oxygen levels are at 50%. He is breathing on his own, but the ventilation is obviously assisting him. President Trump has been tweeting for two days about another experimental treatment he says could be a game changer in the crisis. The combination of antiviral medicine hydroxychloroquine with antibiotic Zithromax. Governor Cuomo announced seriously ill patients will start getting the treatment this week. Hydroxychloroquine has been used to combat malaria. Professor Peter Hotez of Baylor College of Medicine is not so high on this treatment. He's been tweeting about the use of blood serum from people who have already recovered from COVID-19 as a treatment. Governor Cuomo said this will be tried as well. What it does is it takes the plasma from a person who has been infected with the virus, processes the plasma and injects the antibodies into a person who is sick. It's only a trial. It's a trial for people who are in serious condition. John Giratano was moved to Manhattan's Mount Sinai over the weekend. His partner Brian says he's full of gratitude to the doctors and nurses who update him every day. They're really me, my personal lifeline to my partner because I can't see him. So many people are rooting for him. I think you know that. Brian. I know. <laughs> and I can't tell you. Uh, I can't tell you the love and support that he has received. John does not have medical insurance. He had recently started a new job, so Brian has put up a GoFundMe page. I have to stress that these treatments are experimental, but so many families are begging for them. I just recently heard this evening about a family in New Jersey. The son is 25 years old. He's been on a respirator for five days, and the mom is now pleading for access to a clinical trial.